Ten years ago, the announcement that Sony stopped producing the Walkman in Japan made the WM-FX290 the last cassette Walkman sold in America. The FX290 was released in 2004. After a mild refresh in 2008, it remained the only Walkman sold by Sony for the next two years. It is a rather handsome machine compared to some hideous designs that Sony have made. The front panel is adorned with an LCD screen that shows settings for Megabase and the volume limiter. The playback push buttons seem to be upside down. This is because technically this is the top side. Now this is a bit unconventional, but there are benefits to this arrangement. The cassette door has no buttons or switches, it is simply a dust cover. And because it's now on the back, it doesn't need to look fancy. A huge issue with the last generation of cheap Sony's Walkmans is that the cassette door on most of them is made of transparent plastic painted into silver or bronze or grey and when the paint rubs off, it looks like this. On this model, the cassette door is made of barely translucent cadet grey plastic, so it handles scuffs with dignity. The other side tightly integrates the rubberized buttons and the screen into the circuit board. The door for a single AA battery is on the bottom. There is no socket to connect external power adapter. Whether you have a regular ferric tape or a chrome tape or a pre-recorded tape with Dolby noise reduction, you cannot adjust the playback to match the tape because there is no tape type selector and no Dolby decoder. On the other hand, after listening two dozen tapes on this Walkman, I didn't feel I was losing too much in the audio quality department. I don't know what Sony did here, but normal or chrome, Dolby or no Dolby, most tapes produce pleasing, not overly bright or overly hissy sound. I must say that the Walkman generates its own hiss, probably because of insufficient shielding or noisy amplifier. The hiss turns into growl when Megabase is engaged. Pitch stability, known as WOW and Flutter, is quite decent for a $30 Walkman. I guess Sony marketing people decided that radio is more important than noise reduction, so they outfitted this Walkman with a digital radio tuner. It has AM, FM and weather bands and stores up to 33 presets total. The earlier version of this Walkman could in addition tune to audio track from terrestrial television channels 2 through 13 and could store up to 40 presets. The radio cannot receive digital radio programming, despite that HD radio standard has been finalized by 2002. All in all, I'm surprised by how much I uh, like this Walkman. It nicely fits into the palm of my hand and it's almost as small and uh, as solid as uh, some more expensive old metal Walkmans with soft touch buttons and remote control. Uh, if you're lo looking for a Walkman to play your tapes or your dad's tapes, uh, this would be a stylish and an expensive option. Uh, there are many of these on eBay. And uh, because this is the last Walkman sold in the US, uh, its internals, in particular uh, the rubber belt that drives the capstan and the spools, will likely be in better shape than on older models from uh, 1990s or 1980s. Uh, have fun playing tapes, thanks for watching.